I made a mistake today when I was doing Grubhub. I did something bad. And I ate someone's DoorDash order for lunch. Hey there, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. And just as an example, that's Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart, Amazon Flex, and my favorite, Corner Shop. All right, so what did I do today that was so bad that warrants me making a video to share this with you right now? Well, I was out delivering and I saw that I had a double stacked order on Grubhub, so I did a screenshot of it. As you can see here, there are two orders. And I noticed that one has a drink, and the other didn't. And so I went into those orders and I screenshot exactly what it is. That way I know what I'm picking up. But when I went in the restaurant, there was nothing there on the table. It was a Mexican restaurant. I've been in there many times and I know that they're usually slow because they don't make the Grubhub order until you get there. So she came out, she had two orders in her hand and a drink. I checked the first one and yes, it matched uh, the customer's name. So I put it in one bag and then the second order, I threw it in a separate bag. So I just remember the color. Hey, I'm making it up blue for Greg and green for Bob. That way I know the orders are separated and I knew which one had the drink. That was my biggest mistake right there. I should have taken the time to make sure that I had the right order. Of course, I didn't realize that at the time, but I had taken someone's DoorDash order with me. So shame on me. Of course, I didn't realize this. I went out and did the first order, dropped it off smoothly, and then I headed to the next order. And when I got there, I placed the order on the ground there by the door, and uh, I was waiting to complete it because you know how you send the text message? And I always say, thanks, have a great day. And I was in my car and I happened to notice the customer came outside and he kind of shrugged and held up the food order. So I got out of the car and talked to him and he said that wasn't his order. And when I did look at the bag, it clearly said DoorDash. So shame on me, here I'm delivering Grubhub. So what would you do in this scenario? what would you do? Well, I'll tell you what I did, and that's why I want to share it with you, because I think I did the right thing. I apologized immediately. I said, I am so sorry. I'll go back to the restaurant and get your order. And so that's what I did. I didn't uh, close out the order. That way Grubhub would know that I am still having issues. And I headed back to the restaurant. On the way, I called the restaurant to let them know that I had a problem and to apologize for taking the wrong order. When I did get through to the lady at the register, I picked up a DoorDash order by mistake. I'm coming back I now. Know, you took it and we had to make it again. I'm sorry. So what I did is I decided that's gonna be my lunch because as you may or may not know, the restaurant's not gonna take food back. That's unsanitary. And so I took the receipt with me inside and the total was $15. I waited in line and I said, I'll pay for this and it'll be my lunch, you know, ring it up how you like later on. And then I went ahead and got my order, the correct one for Grubhub and went back to the customer's house. <laughs> Despite all the high gas prices, within the speed limit, I got there pretty quickly because I wanted to make sure the customer knew that I was taking their complaint seriously and willing to fix it. And obviously at this point, you know, there's not going to be any more tip. They may take it back. Uh, but I want to do the right thing by the customer because without the customers, we're not going to have any business. And, you know, that's one thing you're going to learn when you do food delivery. One mistake, it costs you time, but you better do the right thing and make it right. And yes, you're going to lose money on it, but that's the right thing to do. And otherwise, you're risking deactivation. So I wanted to do right by the customer. I went up and I knocked on the door and talked with him and I apologized. I said, I am so sorry. You know, usually I don't mess up that badly. And I told him I had two orders at the same time and I really should have checked it and I apologized. He said something to the effect of, you know, thanks. And he accepted my apology. 
There's one more thing that I did to cover myself, and this is important for you to listen to as well. When I was delivering the food to the customer for the second time, the right order this time, I texted the customer stating that I am very sorry that I picked up a DoorDash order by mistake and I am almost there with their food. That way, later on, Grubhub has access to that chat and they can look and see what the problem was. I could have called for customer support, but I would rather get the food to the customer immediately and call them later. In this case, I, I've talked with Grubhub support before and they're decent, but I didn't want to bother them because the customer got their food. Yeah, they could go back and complain and say it was lukewarm or not hot, but in the chat, then the customer service rep would see that I did own up to my own mistake. So that was sufficient. That could come back on me, but I'm relatively confident that I did the right thing and that I documented it in the chat and then I have video and picture proof because I have the Osmo on my chest when I'm dropping off and I use the timestamp camera app to take a picture of the delivery. So I do feel comfortable that I've covered myself documenting that delivery. Then I took a little break because you know what, anytime something disrupts your flow, it's good to just pause, collect your thoughts, and then move on. If you continue delivering, then you're running the risk of being unsettled because you know you get the routine down on what to do with the food delivery. So I took that opportunity to go to a park and I enjoyed that nice meal. And I'll tell you what, I'm saving this Coke. It's the ones made in Mexico. <laughs> I was reading the ingredients. You know, it's got uh, carbonated water, cane sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, and caffeine. So cane sugar. I remember when I was under 10 years old and you could still go to the corner store or corner shop. You know, you get why Uber Eats calls their uh, food delivery service corner shop to give you that feel of that hometown happiness of just going to a local store. But I do remember having those kind of bottles and you would uh, take it back to the store and then just get a new one. It was like a giant one. Of course, I was a tiny kid. It probably wasn't that big. But to me, it was this monster size for whatever it cost. It was just a, a few cents. Anyway, sorry to digress. As I dug into that meal at the park, I reflected, you know what? There were three tacos, this double portion of rice, and that Coke, which I'm saving for later, and some salsa and chips. And the customer paid $15 for that. And then they probably had to pay a delivery fee, or even if they didn't, they would still tip the driver, I would hope. But at a minimum, this cost the customer $15 for someone to bring them that food. I ate it in about five minutes, and naturally it was warm because of the delay in uh, getting it to the customer, which in this case was me. So I was just a little surprised. You know, the value of what you get for all the expenses that the customer goes through. I know I personally don't order food. I've done it maybe once or twice on DoorDash, and that was about it, and Uber Eats, but I don't do it often. I would rather take my own time and just get the food and uh, of course you know I'm tipping myself by doing that. I do respect those customers when they're out there. They're paying our paychecks right? They're paying a lot of money for the food and for that delivery fee and hopefully for a tip that we deserve by working hard. So when I take orders I want to do my best for that customer. I want them to be elated. I don't want them to say oh yeah because that's going to reflect in your tip and ratings. Oh yeah, this Coke's going to be very refreshing later. I'm almost done delivering. I may get one more order in. Before I go though, please share in the comments. Do you think I did the right thing? Would you have done something differently? And if so, please tell me why. I drove 91 miles and I earned $130. So 130 divided by, we'll just say 92. That's $1.41 per mile. And now we're about to get gas, so let's see the damage. All right, it's only $5.55. So yesterday on a pump near here, there was one of those stickers I saw in the Nugs video where it says Biden did this. All right, so basically $32 for gas. 
So at least I cleared a hundred. I'll let you get back to making more money out there as well doing some food deliveries. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.